Hello. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over a poem I wrote called Stuck on Petrenko Road, San Antonio, Texas. There's gridlock going on, my friend. My thoughts are jumbled up against themselves. The rush hour traffic jam that's been running on fumes. There's no service stations in my immediate future. At least none that I can find on any map. There's bumper to bumper now, my friend. My brain's got clogged up. Cast off incomplete thoughts of ideas scattered and strewn across the road. Grasped at images, shadows and flickers. Grinding gears, foot slipping off the clutch. There's an urgent need for a transmission overhaul. Yeah, pretty short one. Um, this one started off like a journal entry, so to speak, and then became part of an untitled trilogy. And then I submitted it for publication to a place, but you know, they didn't accept it. Um, it happens. Uh, and it ended up getting a title. I uh, got some advice from my friend Michelle, who I talk about, or I mentioned in, in more than one video uh, from her. Um, and uh, so it's got a, I, it's, I've come to appreciate this little, little thing, you know. It's, um, I wrote it early April of 2017 when I was still living in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, the street I was living on, Dugas Drive, is near Petranco Road. And Petranco Road is a, at times can be pretty uh, heavy with traffic. And I just thought it was a perfect metaphor for, you know, what I was going through there. Because I'd sit in the backyard, smoke cigars, to uh, cover up the smell of uh, weed. Because that's what I did to put up with living there. Um, and... Um, I would sit in the backyard with the dogs, and I just, it's one of the things that started me writing again, because uh, I'd had a block that I'd put up with during my 30s. Um, so it, it, the metaphor of the, the, the uh, images of, you know, gridlock, I was felt stuck. I was... My ex-wife was is it was a really hard woman to live with. Um, she'd been described by people as narcissistic. I don't, I don't you know. Uh, those in glass houses throw stones first, you know. But but yeah, I just didn't like. I, I didn't love her. I didn't like the situation I was in, and I used certain things to cope with it you know, writing was one of them, and I did these little things, journal entry, you know, like I said, it was journal entries, basically, um, and, you know, trying to work through my place in my head, and uh, trying to get focus, you know, use my writing as therapy, and, uh, that's how I was feeling strung across the road, uh, stuck, gridlock, Gears grinding, you know, foot slipping off the clutch. I was, I was, I was wanting to leave. I needed to leave, but I felt stuck. There was things about my life down there that I hadn't gotten used to. Uh, I had plenty of money in my pocket. Um, you know, uh, I, I had a life, so to speak, but I wasn't happy at it. Um, you know, and then that's the, where that in that need for that overhaul you know your transmission is the thing that keeps you going and mine was broken and uh luckily from a certain point of view an opportunity came along for me to get some distance you know that you know the map there you know could find that you know that that service station ended up being something that as in most things in life, 
something you don't expect. Um, what that led me to here. And uh, some things about it I wouldn't trade for the world. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you got something out of this, thank you for watching to the end. Um, give me the old thumbs up, like it, comment, and uh, all that jazz. Share, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you very much.